Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a therapeutic clean. What that means to me is slowing down and taking intentional steps to clear my mind and try to reset. I struggle with really bad anxiety from time to time. I don't always know where it comes from or what triggers this, but I have learned over time how to take a few steps to take care of myself better on these types of days and I hope that um, this video is relaxing and I'm not going to talk very much I'm just going to let the video play and I will jump in from time to time to explain what I'm doing. When I'm feeling really stressed out, I try to do minimal cleaning. Um, so I just choose a couple of areas that I know are bothering me the most and I clean slowly. Um, so I try not to rush through them because then I start to feel anxious. And so I have found that slow movement, which I call intentional movement, um, helps calm me down as well. My grandfather also struggles with anxiety and something he taught me years ago was a breathing technique that helps calm your mind from all of the thoughts that might be stressing you out. So I use the 478 breathing exercise. You need to find a comfortable spot to sit in, um, usually a quiet area, and you breathe in through your nose to the count of four. You hold your breath to the count of seven, and then you exhale through your mouth to the count of eight. 
this technique helps control emotional responses. Something else my grandfather does every time we either hang up the phone or we're leaving a party or he's just leaving a situation, he always says, go forth and do good. And that quote is so special to me. Um, what that means to me in my mind is you have to get up, you have to keep moving forward, and you have to make good choices. On days where I'm feeling a lot of anxiety, I have to force myself to get up, to get dressed, take a shower, do something that is refreshing or that helps get you moving and get you out of the fog that you are in. You don't have to accomplish everything. Make a list and choose two or three things that you want to get done on that day and then call it a day. But just move and do something. I used to carry a lot of guilt when I couldn't get everything done and I would feel like I was letting my family down. But I have learned that these messes are going to still be here tomorrow for me to take care of. And it's okay, it's okay to leave them there um, and just take care of myself because then I can be the best version of myself for the people around me. Every moment tonight, they led me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally, like it used to be. I am starting my diffuser and I am using this Tranquility Blend. This has spearmint, cedarwood, and patchouli. The spearmint really stands out the most and it's a really uplifting scent and it smells really good. I know you Moving into my room, I am opening blinds and turning off lamps. Um, the natural light is much more calming to me. Um, and I also really love opening windows when the weather is nicer, but I am in Texas and it is humid on this day. If you are somewhere where the weather is nicer and you can open your windows, I strongly recommend letting in some fresh air so you can breathe. Or if you're not, in that type of area then get out of the house and just take a walk it doesn't have to be a long walk but just something to 
get some fresh air and get out of the space that's making you feel um, really anxious. I like to do when I'm feeling really stressed out or not like myself is to try to stay hydrated. Um, water works great um, but I wanted some flavor and so these liquid IVs are really good. They claim to have three times the hydration. I don't know if that's true but I do like the flavor of this strawberry one and there is also a tangerine that is also really good. So I am going to sip on this um, and take a hot bath. Running a hot bath um, to just soak and relax my muscles is a great way to just calm yourself. I'm using this Aveeno Stress Relief Bubble Bath, and I am also going to sprinkle on a little bit of bath salt, specific for stress relief, and I will leave the, the one that I'm using in my description box. I will also light this candle, and I am going to read a book called Broken by Jenny Lawson. She struggles with stress, anxiety, depression, but she is also really funny. She's not making fun of the situation, but she is putting a little bit of humor, um, which really helps me and laughter is great medicine. She also has another book called Furiously Happy that I highly recommend. So definitely check her out. Thank you all so much for watching my video. If any of my tips helped you, please let me know in the comments down below. I would also love to get to know you, so please introduce yourself and don't forget to subscribe and hit like, and I will see you all next time. Bye.